again. Okay. Welcome, 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 ladies. I just want to start this off individually. Carla, Robin, Tammy, Estelle, Naomi, Evelyn, thank you so much for blessing this space with me in it. This is a very sacred thing, what we're about to do. I do not mess around with this. This is your life. This is your life. This is your life. It starts with business, but it quickly becomes about the reasons why underneath the things we want to conquer inside of ourselves, the battles that we go through, the things that we have to endure. And you guys are no different. We're all a, a nice cross section of human being. What makes you so different that you don't deserve success? What makes me so different that I do or don't? We absolutely are all in this together. So I was just telling everybody before you came, if you don't make money after this and we're not successful as you'd like to be, you need to come out to me, reach out to me, don't be afraid. It just means that we got some more layers, we got some more pages, we have some more okay. things we need to grow through. And I, it's an absolute honor. I promise you guys, like this gives me service, it gives me value and purpose in my life to serve you inside of yours. So I hope that you guys find exactly what you're looking for, whether it be in your own chart or whether you're relying on one of your sisters here when we talk about her numbers and it, and it, it absolutely affects you and you're able to see it from the outside. Sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes that's really what helps. So I'm really, really play, like blessed and pleased to do this. Uh, this is going to be a nice, tight little group. I expect that we should be done within two hours. I'm just going to mute you guys. And if anybody wants to unmute yourselves, you can. Uh, I'm, I expect that we should be done within two hours. I'm just looking at my calendar. And in case we need to go longer, I apologize, but we should be able to get this done within the 120 minutes. And we're already five minutes in. So really what I want to do is, because it's a smaller group, like I just want to share this with you guys and just let you guys know what we're dealing with. This is you. Ta-da! These are all of you guys. This is your Facebook name, your business name if you have one, your name at birth. We'll double check for spelling and accuracy in a minute. But sometimes I work with groups where the attendance is a little bit bigger and there's a lot more people to cover in a single session. So when I'm working with a lot of people, you can imagine that even at three and a half hours, four hours almost, people aren't getting the individual attention that you guys are all going to get a chance to get with me today, which is nice because that means you get more value. There's more chance to learn from each other. There's more chance to go deeper. And that feeling is that we're going to learn about ourselves today. You're going to learn about the, part, the parts of you that are powerful and the parts of you that are challenging. And then we're going to make it powerful again so that by the end of this, all of these names are going to show up either balanced, works well, works smart, or their mastery instead of just, you know, lucky old Estelle here who's got like a really wicked looking name. Like, like this, well, I, I didn't, I didn't, I thought this was just one of those things that people put when they're on Facebook and they don't want to use their full name, but you got from Dragon Mood Ventures all the way to your life path to the birthday, the, these numbers are very magnetic to a balanced name up front. Like there's a lot of power that we're about to awaken in, in uh, Estelle. And that's a really, so I, I just wanted to call that out there. Like we can't all be Estelle's out there. Okay. Some of us, some of us are going to have to deal with some things like our names aren't going to work as well. They're not going to figure themselves out. But uh, after seeing this, I'm like, I'm watching out for this woman right here for sure. And there, and all of you guys do this, all of you guys do this, at least somewhere in your chart, we show a power of leadership or a power of spirituality, or a power of love and care and leadership again. This feeling shows up in here, and it's really cool to see that. And we're about to get shined up real nice. So when I, when I work with people and I do numerology, basically what we're doing is we're finding out the name, and then we're going we're gonna to take a look at a, a, a set of initials. These initials are going to be used. You can use one of them, and they're going to take you to a certain place in life. And just so I have them kind of listed out, uh, one of them is about leadership, passion, and balance. That's kind of these guys. Then there are the, you're kind of slow and steady wins the race. Then there's kind of more of the, the fun in the sun vibration. Then you have your kind of serious and quiet. And then you come into your mastery numbers, which is all about the, the coach, the king and the queen, the all-star, and the global visionary. And I was reading this. I'm like, funny. Look at this. All of you guys are hanging out up here. You know, all of you guys have a chance or an opportunity to create legacy wealth, all-star wealth, like generational version of you, a power of spiritual of growth, 
change the world. Like these are big names. And in case you're like, oh, that's too big for me. Fine, we can find something nice and easy and simple. It's no big deal. I'm not gonna judge you if you feel more comfortable taking a name that's down here. Like it's not a big deal, okay? Just in case, you know, you're, maybe this is your first round in business. And like some of my clients, they take a name to start. And then six months later, they've grown into a leader. And next thing you know, the name doesn't fit anymore. And that could be okay as well too. What I do wanna make a distinction of is that we're not doing legal name changes today. And as a matter of fact, we're not even looking at everyone's legal names today. Some of these names are like, I don't have it anymore, or I'm married out of it, or this is no longer the name I use, or I, I don't use my middle name everywhere I go. So some of these may not even hold, but when I'm looking at a, at a chart, and I'm just gonna do uh, Naomi's here, and let's see if I can find it. Okay, it doesn't show up here. Here we go, let's try here. If I show up with Naomi's, and let's see if I can find it where we did our personal chart. Shows up here. Okay, so when we did it, where was it? Uh, somewhere here? Here. We see a different looking spread. Okay, so this is, and, and maybe what, what I wanted to start with, uh, you said we were gonna start with Robin. So what we'll do is uh, we'll make sure that we get hers done first. But this is what you have to look forward to as a conversation with me one-on-one. -on -one. When we get a chance to go in, dive in deep, I would suggest that you all do that. I will give you a discount price to work with me that like basically discounts the price of the ticket from this session and it'll just contribute towards a full session in with me because I, I want to be installed as a, as a partner and as a coach in your wealth and in your success. I care. And the reason why I care is very selfish. It's because I know that I need to care about everyone else the way that I should care and love myself and to see that power. It's not about hopefully I make money from people. It's that if you don't make it, I don't make it. So I know that there's an investment in who I am to helping you guys become better people. But this conversation is a lot more in depth and a lot more in tune. And this is also part of the reason why when we talk about one of these numbers for Robin and uh, it doesn't show up in another person's chart, that can be a really difficult thing to think of, but it's also really rewarding to be like, hey, I recognize that number. How come I don't see it? How come I feel the same way? it's probably because it's hiding in another part of your, of your chart, okay? So as we go through this, what we'll do is we're gonna use each and every one of you as a way to grow, as a way to actually teach everyone else what another spirit of the universe has come through. So you had a chance. I asked you guys, what's the biggest challenge you're dealing with right now? What's the biggest thing you're going through right now? And uh, you know, we got answers, and they were, they were quick little blurbs, uh, you know, some really serious stuff to not having my, even my page set up. So I want to give you guys a chance to do that again. And I know it's late. So Robin, you're up first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick you out here. I'm going to unmute you. Can I get a sound test? Are you there? Yep. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to take a look at your chart first. This looks good. Okay. So it, it, I, I like the way that this looks because, hey, your name works and also it matches a part of your life path. But are, are you still Robin Christine Shaw? Yep. And you're, you're battling a really strong fight right now with your health, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, you may be an exception. I, I, I might want you to change your name legally. Like, let's be fair. Either taking, and I'm not telling you to do it right now. I'm just letting you know. When she, this, well, hey, Bobby, sorry, I have to. So Robin is my daughter's stepmother. She actually married my daughter's father. So she was a Conlin. Sorry, I had to, Robin. <laughs> okay, uh, but, but so right now, are you for Robin Christine Shaw? Yes. Yeah, okay. I changed my name legally. You, okay, that's fine. And that's okay. And see, she, 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 like, let's say Life Path Ones, okay? Fitting, mm -hmm. we start with you first, Life Path One. This is a value of independence. There is a strong and a leader and a feeling of this that you're going to create something and you're going to be someone. That feeling of you being on top, number one, I'm going to do this. Now, on the path to that, you're going to get thrown a couple of curveballs. You're going to end up having to go through some stuff that's going to feel a bit challenging. And by a bit, obviously, that's an understatement. But the reality is that this is going to be building your story. The prop now here, we can, this is going to start to get a little strange. We have a life path one for leader, and then we have a name path five for fighter. There's a war going on. And this thing is going to show up to say, 
I don't track them out. It's all good. I'm fine. And then the fight goes inward within the cell. Then we have a, take a look at this, at this life path. The life path one says independent. I'm here for myself. I'm my own independent woman. And then the nine says my heart is so big that I'm literally absorbing the pain and the energy of everyone else around me because you're such a loving, caring, oh my God, I'm going to do this for everyone. That nine over one, it's like nine one one. And when we see that, hey, there's an emergency happening here. You, there's a fight. You're holding the whole planet above you. And this is you as a kid taking on, absorbing a lot of energy that isn't yours. Your body's reacting at this point. And then comes in a little bit even more difficult. This 22 on the inside says master builder. So not only is your ambition really high, your vision, you've probably seen it in your mind's eye to say, I'm, I'm going to be some, someone of real power. You're also going to go through that much of an actual challenge inside of your life. This is another thing that we have to really pay attention to in here in a second. It does balance out eventually where there is the love connection between love and wealth, this loving connection of you and family. You're going to work with your family, but you're a leader and you'll absolutely help teach people grow. There is also a very stubborn woman in here as well. So what takes in everything then turns into a vibration of stiff and no, and I'm going to do this and I'm grounded and it, you will eventually soften back up again and find the balance between these and enter your queen mode and the feeling of you absolutely helping little people, baby entrepreneurs, growth, teaching people, going through stuff. This is good leadership. And this has to pay the price in order to get there. I'd like to think that you're right in the middle of paying your dues. But I also like to think most of this, like the problem with fighters is that they fight other people's fights. It's still your wounds. It doesn't matter if it's your fight or not. You go in there and you start taking on the other people's energy. You're like, gladly, that's what I'm here to do. Let's help the world get to become a better place. And we see that basically showing up inside of your chart. This will do very well in business. Okay, so please recognize this is one of the, more powerful numbers that we look for. One, leadership. Six, long-term wealth. 22, absolute ambition to get really big things done. And the nine, it's not all about the money for you. It's also about the love and the care and the, the relationship to others. To have a name that says like this, it's absolutely challenged because it says the three, I'm just going to pretend like things are all good. And then the two and the five is I'm going to fight myself. I'm going through a fight. And you know, the questions are, how are you feeling today? How, how, how's this week been? And like, you know, where are your pain levels at? You're like, eh, I'm fine. It's because you're a fighter, you're fine. It's not because you're actually fine. It's because you're putting your best foot forward. And you're like, mm, I'm going to fight this. And it's like the, the fight is going to be there for you. Now, when we look at Robin Shaw, to make matters even more precarious and, in, and, and challenging here, this name is good for spiritual, it's good for independence, and it's good for business. So amid, amidst all of this like, like amount of love and leadership and, and stubbornness that you can bring to the table is a really strong, intuitive, somewhat psychic person who's very in, like, connected to what people are going through. You get a chance to start talking to leads and you'll be listening to them sell themselves. They want to prove themselves to a name like this. This is like that doctor who's got the sign up that says, please don't diagnose yourself. Just tell me what the problem is. I'll, I'll tell you what you need. And like, you know, this is that number that's like, I'm going to figure this out. Just, just let me listen to all the details and I need some time to meditate. So when we're looking at this, I would probably think that there's a place for uh, Robin to love Robin even a little bit more than she currently is and to really pour the self love on top of you because Robin Shaw is a bit more out of that, out of that frame. And I think that with a number like this, your love is of the best. Your love is of the best and you're like the only person who's not really getting it. And it's like everyone else gets a chance to experience how wonderful, amazing and cool and awesome you are. And you're the one who basically kind of like gets pushed to the side a little bit when it comes to that conversation of self love. It's not that you're not loving of self. It's just the fact that this number doesn't hold a six in it. And this number doesn't hold a six in it. And it's happening at the end of your life. And right now it's this idealistic version of, of love. And it's then this stubbornness and you're not there yet. Not until you're 55. That's not for many, many years from now. So what we're looking at is like, well, are we going to, we're not going to wait. Are we we're like, no, we should put something in there now because this will work. But at the same time, it also needs to be left alone. And when we look at your name, we could be putting things like the letter G, the letter P, or even the letter Y. 
This vibration, however, now brings in the business, the spiritual, and the love all in one conversation. This is the number that I use now, and I was the one who was destroying myself. I had a number that was unlike, not unlike uh, Robin's, was the fighter was going in and I wasn't saying anything. At least this way, th at least on this side, you're putting on a show. At least this point, you're performing for people still. For me, I'm just like, ah, I can't make it. I've got something to do. Or I've got an early shift tomorrow. And I would just lie. And I would just go into my room and just, you know, smoke weed and do drugs and basically like ruin my life. I put this little stinking, little stinky little F in there. And I like to say the F stands for Francisco because that's my middle name. And I put this number in there and I brought myself back up. I brought myself out to a place where I was speaking the conversation of wealth, speaking the conversation of spirit, and speaking the conversation of family. I would like to believe that numerology has the ability to get you absolutely in the health upgrade of a lifetime. And I would like to reframe your illness or your dis-ease or whatever you want to call it or label it as your body saying, enough is enough. I've absorbed too much. And now I'm, I'm, it's coming up to the surface and I no longer want to deal with it anymore as opposed to me holding it in now to the point where other people are involved. So what I would be doing is I would be putting a big heart in there and I put the G, the P, or the Y. We could talk about Robin Chris Shaw, or if you want to talk about another letter like C and a letter, we could talk about that. We could talk about putting something else in there. How do you feel when you say the thing Robin G Shaw, Robin P Shaw, Robin Y Shaw? Do you want to dig a little bit further and see if there might be another word that we can use? Sure. Yep, I can hear you. But I have no idea. Okay, so let me just find out and see something here. What I want to do is I want to, I want to see here, Chris, okay, how about Christy? How about Christy? No, we're looking a little bit for here, Christine. It was the same problem we were dealing with before. So, okay, here, because I'm trying to find something super authentic. So let's try this one. Let's go CV, CM, or CV. So there is another option to do this. Instead of taking the GPY, you could take the letters CV, CM, or CD. So in case either one of those combo options work for you a little bit better, then we can start moving something like that in, con in conjunction, CM or, or CD or CV. This feeling inside of Robin C.V. Shaw could be a, a way that you kind of like abbreviate Christine and people are like, I don't know like how, but you could definitely do that that way. We could also talk about Robin Christine. Let's take a look at that one and see if we got something there. I, I, I like to think, here we go, that's the one. Okay, so what we're gonna do, if you want my, my professional opinion, is go mm -hmm. Robin Christine. Now, this value inside of this name is the same sequence as the word God. When we, when we write out the value of the word God, we write out a value of six to eight. So when we see it inside of numerology, we have a wonderful feeling that you are like God in human form. Now, this is your name. This is not an alignment. This isn't a weird looking letter. This is your ultimate destiny underneath to say you're kind of something of a big deal. This leader with the heart to heal the world, a master builder, and finds your queendom and absolutely balances out. When we look at a name and then it says Robin Christine, it's like that works. Robin Shaw also works. You must be something of an old soul, someone of a deeper soul lineage. And you're going to end up, it's like what you would expect, uh, like the, like the, like, absolute empathic people to go through, give that to me. Let me take care of that for you. You're paying the price now. You're being super loving and super empathic to everyone. You basically take it on there. And that might be a nice way of reframing what you're dealing with because then you could be like, huh, it's not even mine. And then, bing, and then suddenly it just starts to release itself from you and you realize, well, wait a second, I have the chance. I've got numerological alignment. I've got a really big looking number. I don't need to take a letter. No wonder you're saying, I don't know, because your name looks really good with just Rob and Christine. It doesn't need a, a funky level of letters that come in, but it's a wonderful feeling to think that you're hiding and you don't need to hide anymore because now you're in a healing phase and it's almost like by you getting better, it's like particles in the, in the universe that don't even need to communicate. They just do the same thing at the same time and they, 
They kind of know what they're, what each other is doing. As you heal, everybody inside of your, your social sphere also gets a massive level of healing as well. And man, what a marketing campaign. I hate to exploit your situation, but I would, if I were you, I would make that thing work for me. I'd be like, you're making me a lot of money right now. Okay, counsel, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make sure you do that for me. I've got a business to run. So I'm going to show these people this champion story. And within the seed of your situation offers the benefit of being able to share that with others. So, uh, yeah, cool. Naomi, why don't you uh, chime in on it? I wanted to let you know that that she's not really, she really hasn't done anything with our business. She bought her machine because of her health, right? But she's been fighting her cancer. So she hasn't, I've been nitpicking at her. Like it's time to start using, start, start getting better so you can start building a business with us, right? Sure. Yeah. That's why she didn't really understand the whole letter thing, I think. Well, because when people go to business and they show up and it shows up any, like these are names. And uh, sometimes they just, they kind of work. Sometimes they really don't work. There you are, Robin and Christine Shaw, just sitting there in one of the names that doesn't work. You know, we, they could work. And then there's the, the four or six of them that are like, oh my God, I need this number in my life. And this is like a really big, powerful level of like, no wonder some people have it easy. This is where we see God. You know, we see God numbers here as well. And we could boost you in there since you're also holding a layer here. So when we're looking at vibrational speaking numerology, I know it's super spiritual, but I found this because of business. Eight is a wealth number. And we look at six as a love and a wealth number. So we have these special looking numbers, whereas one is going to stand for independence, leadership. This is an independent woman. She's not going to ask for help. Okay. Then the two shows up as a value of partnership. Three shows up as the value of creativity. Four now comes in, 22 as well, okay? Comes in as a value as hardworking, discipline, line, like linear thinking. Then we have the five, shows up as the fighter and the warrior. We've got the six, which is the mama bear, the very loving, the caring, I'll do anything for you vibration. Then we have the seven, which is going to keep you kind of quiet and reserved a little bit. Then we have the eight, which shows up as a strong, powerful magnetism for law of attraction. And law of attraction means like, magnetism inside of wealth we see the nine shows up as a value for global love universal perspective of love and then we see 11s for angels and we see 22 for uh, master builders and these are like architects so the fact that you're born on the 22nd means that the biggest work you were here to do is between 27 and 55 so if it's not this it's got to be something else but i would say you're sitting on a gold mine and you don't even have to sell it just tell people to come and get water and start drinking it and fill up your jugs and, you know, and, and people are going to start to ask to buy and you just like, Naomi handles that. And she's going to have, she's going to take care of all my paperwork for me. And sorry, Naomi, I didn't mean to do that to you. <laughs> and so this, but this reality is that sooner or later, it just starts to pay itself off. You're investing in your health. You're one of the, you're one of the 90% of people who buy the machine and don't need to do the business. They're just buying it because they need, they know they want the product. And you go to the Gershon Institute, first thing they do is they give you a glass of Kangen, a Nagic. They don't give you any other weird looking water. This is it. This is the water they use. Guys who do the colonoscopy, the Hironia Shimra or whatever, uh, Hiromi Shinya, the guy who created the camera, swears by this stuff. We can go on for days. This is a wonderful, absolute, like powerful technology that's inside of your life. But you would be one of the more successful people in this as a business. And you're the one who's listening. You're not even selling. You're just basically being like, huh, interesting. I just, people got to let people talk. And next thing you know, they kind of sell themselves into this. And all you have to just say is an opportunity to get this machine for free. There's an opportunity to absolutely like cut a lot of your costs by having this. And I had to have it. So people are like, really? You're like, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, at the beginning, you'll just probably want to like do the three-way interview or the three-way introduction. Or you know what? What's your number? I'll get, uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Hey, Naomi, give her a call. Do you mind? I'm on my friend. I'm on a friend here. She's asking about the water. I'd love for you to tell her a little bit about your story. Maybe we can set something up and just be super casual. And that's basically how people really like to have it. But uh, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between you and an entrepreneur. Because this thing, like while part of you is going to be super loyal to your job and very loyal to working, there's also like, I need to have my own thing. And uh, I also, I would be really good at having my own thing. And I've got a destiny in here that says I want to help people. And I'm absolutely wanting to do it really big. So interesting that you haven't quite figured it out yet in terms of wanting to step into your business. 
take your time, no big deal. If it's not for you, it's just not for you. It's, it's okay, it doesn't need to be, but I'm just glad you're drinking the water. I'm just glad that you're, you're around entrepreneurs. You're an average of the people that you hang around with. And so, I great, if you're, you are your business, okay? That's why I like to tell people that. I'm like, you're on a business page, you are the business, like you're the business. So just to know that this is a number that I give people. This is a number that I also give people, like when I see it, where is it, 718, right? It's a number that shows up that's balanced. So you have a natural looking alignment, whether it be Robin Shaw or, or uh, Robin Christine, it actually shows up to align you naturally speaking. You do not need to take a letter. If you wanted to shift more love into your life, I would be identifying with Robin Christine and just start using Robin Shaw and just basically start using Robin Christine everywhere. You'll pull in the think happy thoughts, feel happy thoughts, have pull in the people, places, circumstances they need, and let's magnetize this thing out of me. And that's like a really wonderful way of, of approaching that conversation. But I would like to believe that in this name lies the opportunity for you to really kick it to the curb and not really uh, have to deal with this situation anymore and let it lovingly graduate through you and let it go out of your, out of its way. But of course they say it's a battle that's in the mind. You really have to be there at very strong inside of you. But knowing this chart, seeing what we see, how are you feeling? Did you have any questions? Did you want, did you want to maybe dive in to anything about your names at all? I don't think so. This is, it's, it's a lot. It's a, 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 and I go on for an hour to talk about this. So while we're all looking at this, let's recognize for a minute that she goes through a fight that nobody else gets a chance to see. And then she's the hardest on herself than she will be on anyone else. When it comes to anyone else, the pride kicks in and that feeling of I'm going to lead and I'm going to help people. I'm going to do stuff really starts to show up. This is a part and parcel of that story. And you kind of have to go through it. And whether it be this or it be age or it be a bus or it be a shark NATO, like whatever's going to happen, something's going to take you and you get a chance to shape to say, it's not about how I go out. It's how about how I came out and how I absolutely showed my fire. And with numbers like this, I'm like, you're going to help people. So I, I, it's a blessing and a pleasure that you would be on the water and here with us. Uh, and if you do have any questions that come up through the, through the pipeline and you want to talk about them or go in a little bit deeper, just let me know. And we can absolutely, we're, we're here for some time. So if you do need to, you can, but from a non-entrepreneurial standpoint, you don't need to change anything. You have a natural alignment. It's good. you got wicked looking numbers. I would be more like, uh, like, you know, Naomi's like, we're kind of like dropping hints and like trying to like here and there, you know, get you into business. I'd be like, girl, drop everything and start a business page. <laughs> like these numbers are what you need. You would be like, it's almost kind of like, ah, I'll, I'll get to it because you know, when you do it, it's going to work and you know, you're not going to need to run as many laps as everyone else because you've got natural alignment inside of your body. And to make things even better, you got a story that people are going to really align with. So once you absolutely have that champion part of the story, then absolutely we would look at this being like, all right, let's keep it moving. Let's make sure that other people, because you could be helping people with this as well. But, uh, you know, it's a funny world. Absolutely funny world. You can't say things like this cure you or help you or things like that. But you can say it's one of the most powerful things inside of your life. So for me, it has been. And it got me over a lot of really silly things that were happening. But uh, let's see you now. And from a personal conversation between me and you, I would think that this name has a much better chance of, of, of it's the love, the self love that needs to pour in the godlike love that needs to rejuvenate you as opposed to the, I'll just stand to the side and make my money and kind of like I'm, I'm lacking on the self love conversation. If you were to balance this thing out completely, it would be looking like Robin C Christine chart uh, or even Robin U Christine or Robin Christine U shop. So conversation for another day, but I would recommend that this name gets a, a lift of some kind. This is going to keep you fighting with yourself and, and you're, and you're going to, it's going to be way too proud to admit it. And that's not a bad thing. You're going to help people, but at the same time, at the expense of yourself, I don't know if that's a conversation you want to have. And legally speaking, this is how you're showing up. I would say that there's room for improvement, whether you even just take out Christine or you just go by Robin Christine. I'm not, I'm not sure how that would, how, how that would affect. It's tough because Sean's a good name, but uh, more on that later. If you have more questions, you let me know. Okay.
Okay, so let's keep going here. And I appreciate you guys as you're sort of lending your energy and lending your power in here. I'm just going to quickly pull up my chat in case you guys are talking in the chat. I'm, I'm here with you. Uh, I have my, my, my other one closed. So in case you guys are going off inside of the group chat there, just want to make sure that uh, we're not. Yeah, you are. Are you? No, we're good. Uh, but if you guys do need to, you can always unmute yourselves. Okay. So let's, let's hit up this, uh, how do I say this? Rianne, Estelle, Pamela, Lust. Uh, I'm going to unmute you. Thank you. Hey. Um, Hi. I can't talk. I've got the 11.5 on my face. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I felt your power from the moment that we first connected on my go live. And I was like, and I had, and this is an interesting thing that you're you're dealing with Naomi because you're both life path 11s but us spiritual folk we kind of have to stick together here and it's interesting not to say that anything wrong with the rest of you ladies over here okay but the the thing is is that when we see double numbers and when we see things that are showing up like even this 516 516 okay like your birthday looks like a name Carla like you actually have an old soul vibration inside of you as well but these wow. feelings that we see inside of here, we're thinking big ambition. There's going to be something big inside of here. And I didn't even know your birthday. And when I look at this again, I'm like, wait a second, six and eight. Six, eight, six, eight. Life, like name path six. She got a spell last. This is like a, a one of your middle names and your last name. And even Dragon Moon Ventures. I'm like, us, oh, it's going to be funny to talk, talk about this. I'm like, hey, wait a second. It even looks like your name. There's a lot of value inside of your chart. And I know I want to ask you, but I'm afraid to like, you know, make your mouth hurt. But like, Ask, because I want to tell you, I'm going for a legal name change. So what are you going to do? I'm going with Estelle Lust. Wow, well, hello there. <laughs> When's that going down? As soon as I'm done talking to you, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what happened with the rest of these names? I'm just curious. Um, I am named for mother and father. And they were the hmm, two people that were supposed to lift me up and carry me in life. And they were the two people that dropped me. <clears throat> Screw them. Peace out. Bye-bye. You got to right? go. Off your own no, so Estelle Pamela Lust, I'm keeping. So you're keeping Estelle Pamela Lust. Yeah. Okay. Can I just double check that just to make yeah. sure? Oh, yeah. You do your magic, Bobby. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm putty in your hands. Okay, well, let's make sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would either be putting the letter X on there somewhere or else I would be taking out Pamela if, if it was me. Let's take it out. Okay, so this, because this is the number I gave to my son when he was born. Wow. The most powerful numbers and it literally has got the queen vibration on it. So, and we're not talking about like the queen of England. We're talking about the queen of Estelle Lust. Like this is yeah. like your, who you are that shows up in there. But this is not an easy number to run. This is going to give you some massive levels of challenge. It oh, hurts. Yeah. Like parents that didn't lift you up and they pushed you down, that hurts. Yeah. Right? Because of the sixes, we know that your love is of the, is, is of the best out there. Mm -hmm. And we know that you absolutely love and care. So it's sometimes it's not the family that you're born with that, that loves you. It's the family that you get, like the family that we're creating here right now. And I know. I, I know that. Yeah. Go for it. It's okay. You can add. Uh-uh. This is the hardest number to run, 22. It's one of the most difficult things to experience as a human being because you're not quite human with this number. This is more I know this. You know this. You, you know this. This is validating for you. Yeah. So like, Finally, see, I told you I was an alien. And I'm like, yeah, that kind of makes a little bit more sense. More like a, like a dragon moon. But the feeling inside of this 22 is that you have a big ambition nonetheless. And you're going to be stubborn. You're going to be like hard headed. So of course it's going to be tough on parents because this is like a little boss and you show up as a little kid, not listening. And it's going to be like, now suddenly it's your heart to manage. And I'm like dealing with this right now because my little girl's born on August. She's born on the fourth. And of all the frustration that I'm looking at her with, I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. You're just, you're dealing with adult energy and you're a child. You're dealing with adult energy. You don't have the body, the size of what you're dealing with. Bless your parents. They didn't know what they were doing. You get a chance to take responsibility from this 
and not have to blame them for it. But this is what you needed to understand as a kid is that you have a lot of magnetic, powerful energy. And when you're six, that shit doesn't fly. It doesn't, it doesn't, it no, you're going to cause a massive level of headache for the people around you. And that's just because you're frustrated and you don't want to listen to orders. It doesn't want to take orders. It can't. It's like, if we give you something to do, tell you to do something, you're going to want to do the opposite because that's just how it works. And that's just the vibration of what an eight is. It's a boss woman. And as a kid, that's like the worst thing to ever happen. So I'm glad that you're still alive. I'm glad that you're with us. Barely. Yes, I know, but you are. You made it to the now. And and these eights in your chart, they would not be that far off from like, you know, and I'm out of here. I don't care. This sucks. I'm done. I don't belong here. I need to go somewhere else. I hate this life. This I eight, did that yesterday. These eights will disassociate from your life force in a very strong way. You want to prove that you want to be alive? Hold your breath until you pass out. You absolutely, like life does favor you and choose you in a much bigger way than you've probably ever known in your entire life. To think, this thing has a vibration of queen. This thing is also a vibration that actually works. 516, 966, you're in the, ba- the power zone. To think you were born there, you use it today, your life path has got the two most magnetic numbers. You may have felt like, oh crap, I missed it. Now I'm, I'm out of it. You're coming back to your wealth but you also have your love alongside of you. This is going to make the best mama bear, the feeling of wanting to create value for others, teaching people, helping people grow in their business and in their lives. You've got a lot of really good things to look forward to, but these are good looking numbers. You have a really solid level of chart. What I would suggest is that we make sure that we get the right day to change your, your, um, your birthday on or, yeah. or your, your legal name. It's yeah. not just any given Tuesday. You need to have this down on the right day. Okay? Yeah. And okay. it looks, like, looks like Robin's screen froze at a really funny angle. <laughs> it's like, oh, my blood. Okay, so here we're going to do this. Um, we're going to go, and I just want to give you the days here, okay? So we're going to go eight, six, and three. Okay, so um, any day that adds up to the number eight, okay? So if you take... June and you take 20, 2019 and you take 26, you, like on the 26th in two days, that'd be a good day to change your name. Okay. Hold uh, on. Any day that adds up to eight, any day that adds up to an eight. That's this year. Next year it'll be, I'm just, just want to make sure that I have my math, right? Eight, six and four, any day that adds up to a nine. So in 2019, any day that totals up to uh, eight is a day for you to do something. Uh, day, month plus day plus year equals yep. eight, okay? All right. And just to be fair, 2019 equals three. So you're, you're still figuring out these two numbers, but it has to equal out to eight altogether. Yeah. So uh, like, let's say July is coming. So you need a seven plus three is one. So you need to be on the 7th or the 16th or the 25th of July. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Because you're planning on changing your name legally, I would not be doing this otherwise. Uh, I would be like, wait a second. Stop. Don't wait. Hold on. Uh, Take the new name first. But if you're like, I have a way to change it. If this is politically incorrect, I can't stand my parents. I got to get out of this. Then I'm like, okay, I get you. Then please, God be with you. Let's, Let's move this migration forward. Uh, inside of that. Now, business name wise, business name wise, with numbers like this, I would beg you to please use Estelle Lust as your business page name. You're using Dragon Moon Ventures for a business that you already have? No. So for Enagic. This is Dragon Moon Ventures is your Enagic name? Well, I, yeah, I started because I'm a Reiki practitioner, right? Yep. So it was Dragon Moon Healing and Meditation. And then they and I came up with this one okay. for an adjunct. So uh, good name. Really good name. This is not bad because it helps you, but yep. it's not as powerful as you are. Okay. It's How about the Hydration Hippie? Hydration Hippie. Let's take a look at that one. That no, the Hydration Hippie. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's do it. Without the, it actually looks really good. With the, it doesn't look good for business, but it looks super spiritual for angel. The hydration hippie says angel, but it doesn't say wealth. So it's tough. Oh, we like, want wealth. I like being an angel, but we want wealth. Then take the word the out of okay. it. Okay. Hydration hippie. Hydration hippie. You're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be super sweet and very loving and it'll do, it'll help people. So it's a nice vibe to have that there. Uh, but Dragon Moon Ventures also works. I think it's not like it's, you can even go like uh, when you're ready for it, go LTD and actually get your business underneath the Dragon Moon Ventures oh. and like, and create a business by that name. So yeah. that one doesn't actually look bad at all. I do like it. I, L LTD. It's just that you've got a mastery name and yeah. a mastery life path. Yeah. And it makes us wonder, who are you? Uh, like, I don't even planet. know, Bobby. I don't even know. I'm just here. I'm passing through. Uh, call me a Reiki artist. What you're, what do you want? you're a magician. And that's a really big thing that you have to understand is that this, this woman brought her wands with her. And so you changing your name is going to be like a big deal. I would love to be there for that. Just with a big cheerleading sign. It's be like, you did this, you rock, but it's a big deal. Okay. I would absolutely love it. If we got a chance to work together one-on-one -on -one because oh, yeah. it's have, I, yes, absolutely. It's kind And for any of you guys who can't afford it, I'll do the work. Just, just put me on the calendar and uh, you know, pay me later. I don't care. Just let me work for you because I want you guys to have this story. Okay. So uh, any questions about this? Um, my son. What about him? Thomas. Thomas is a good cat. He's a good kid. You can trust him. He's going to, he's, he's a, he's a hard case. Oh, he's a hard little case for sure. But T T H O M S M M A S. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good name. You've yeah, got a, you've name got a good him. boy in there, but he's hard. He's stubborn just like his mommy. Yeah. Yep. That four inside of there is going to, it's going to challenge him. And uh, he's going to make things harder on himself than they need to be. Uh, how do I stop that? Uh, what's his last name? Edwin. It's Lust. Thomas Edwin Eldred Lust. Uh, okay. So let's just say he's dealing with frustration, right? So what's, what's the issue? Mom. Uh, <laughs> like, you, like you're the issue? I'm the issue because I am... Working really hard on not rolling my the abusive behavior that was projected on me onto my children. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and the thing is, is that like it almost looks like that's an easy target with those numbers. Super easy target. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if I when you say it's Ed, you say it's Thomas Edwin Eldred E L D I R D L Eldred. Yeah. Yeah. So Thomas Edwin Eldred. Yeah. Lust. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, I, I would be using that name. Okay. I would be using that name. Like, don't use the small version of it. You use the whole thing. Otherwise, if it's short, then I would be using, uh, like, what about just Tom? What about just Tom Less? Let's just take a look at that one. And let's just see. I mean, and he's, how old is he? Four. See, this is too small right now. You, you, it's, ah, oh, this is tough. Okay. He, the same thing that's happening with you that you were too much um, mature for your numbers. Same thing with him. He's got yeah. a very adult version of his numbers. And then yeah. even when we look at, uh, at, at Thomas Lust, it's still, what about at least just Tom? Yeah, and, and Tom will just take it. And that's a tough feeling. So I would kind of just, the way that I would look at this is to look at him and be like a time machine and look at it and look at yourself and recognize what did you need? What did you need? to have back when you were there in that state that ended up now being unresolved. And because it's unresolved, it's the only way that you know how to communicate back again. And it's not that you're trying to mess it up. It's just that that was the best that you got from parents that you're disassociating from. So you have to recognize that reality is that, well, the universe gets a chance to repeat itself. You know, are you going to be wise enough to show up for that conversation and say, how would I have loved to have been treated when I was back then and to, to make something based on that. But I would say that taking out these fives are going to be a big deal. Like it's going to be good. And just going to Estelle Lust, even if it means that you go into your room and you say that name over and over about 15 times before you interact, you'll put yourself in more of a loving connection and condition as opposed to the stubbornness of the four. And he's stubborn too. 
So it's yeah. like, like, a, like a like a like a you know a face off, and you know it's, it's almost like he wants a challenge. And he that, wins every fucking time. Absolutely, he's four. They, they always win. I've got a four year old too. He, just, just, even when he loses, he wins. Even when he wins, he wins. It's just like, I get it? And because I don't want to box him in, I don't want to take anything away from him. He fucking wins every time. I would be taking things away from him. That's basically... Well, I take TV away from him. Yeah, that's basically what it is. And just to say, you know what? You need to listen to some meditation music and, like, you know, uh, like, you know, put on the... If you if you can do this on your TV, and you, you can you put YouTube on your TV? Is that a thing? Yeah? Yeah. So on your TV, just do this, search this and let them pick one and let them pick a color and let them pick a, a number, whatever, what repairs DNA, falls asleep, cool. deep healing, letting go of all negative energy. If you can put this on headphones even better and say, all right, we're going to take a 10 minute meditation. It's going to be a wonderful connection to, to do that. But these are awesome. They're also called binaural beats. Yeah. But you need to, it's like, and, and between parents, if anybody else is not a parent in here and you guys are like, oh. <gasps> Between parents, it's a good way to manifest the energy in your children. Okay, so just to make sure you have that, our our living room plays with it nonstop all day. The kids play with it when they're they're going. To, it's playing when they're going to sleep. The we 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 have these tones playing to help their brain vibrate at the at the wave that we want them to be. And you know he's got a lot of uh, hard hard energy, and it will serve him well if it doesn't get squished and crushed out of control. But uh, that would, I, I would like to think that's a very private conversation that you and I are going to have to have ourselves, okay? Yeah, for sure, Bobby, for sure. I yeah. appreciate you for being here with us. I know that you're going through a tough time. Please don't let the fire inside of you die. I know that you're going to go through some tough shit, but at the same time, if anyone, you're the one that's actually going to make through. That you're, it, it's you that actually has the power to, to go through it. But just to kind of warn you, and then I'd like to see 1979 when we're looking at this, it's around your forties when it, you kind of figure this stuff out. It's not a, it, up until then. It's like, dish, dish, like my, my head's banging against the wall. Don't know what to do. And it's because these mastery numbers have a much larger growing curve than just your average life path. And like, that's what happens when we have big numbers in our charts. Okay. Okay. Love you. Appreciate Thank you. you. Okay, good. I like this. This is some powerful. I'm leaving. My face hurts. Okay. We will see you guys soon. Bye, Estelle. All right, Evelyn. Let's now, as if you now, like, how do I follow that? You are not any different with your massive levels of spiritual energy inside of here, okay? Like, holy smokes. And uh, the, to, I'm just going to unmute you here so you're with us. This number has a wonderful level of balance. It's got a huge level of I love and I care and I give and I love. And you're also running with a really strong sense of powerful inside of your name. We like this feeling. This is real. So you're right now, Evelyn Sophia uh, Parker, correct? Yep, that's right. Okay. So as a life path six, we have the balance between love and money inside of this chart. I was born in June. I know this number. You care a lot about others. Like, absolutely. It's a big part of the game. You are just oozing and squeezing your love out for everyone else. And we, we appreciate you for doing that. You make the family party more family, more party. You make the success more work from home. You're going to be a teacher in this, a guide, and someone who absolutely can help someone get through a really strong place in their life. But when we're looking at this, you also have a big challenge to get through yourself. These are mastery numbers up front. And it makes you look back and like, Naomi, where are you finding these people, man? What's going on? You're just collecting like superheroes over here. Like you got a big, and then I'm like allied forces. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess this makes a lot of sense. I've been dealing it's a with a magnet. <laughs> it's a magnet for spiritual energy. I hope you guys realize this. You guys are a, a part of something completely different. And the fact that you are, it just makes me feel absolutely amazing to do this work for you. But you have the best number of them all. Everyone's like, can I have it all? Is there like a place where I have like the relationship of desire and the business of desire? Like, yeah, that's like the six. That's like the balance of all things. The challenge around here is how fast you will mature in life to the point where it almost may feel like something of a childhood may have been muted because of how sincere, mature, loving, caring, nurturing you are as a young girl, how deep and old soul eyes those are as a, as a baby girl. This feeling of you showing up like that as a kid 
it says angel up front and then it says, all right, let's get down to business. I want to build something big. I'm going to make something big happen. And I absolutely want to like create my own organization. I want to my own allied forces. I'm not going to call it that. We'll call it whatever I want to call it. Evelyn's forces. But this feeling shows up that you want to create something quite large. And then we were talking about this 696966. Hey, it's right here. One day when you get to that age, you're going to be living inside of your queen vibration. And it'll be really nice because this is hard work. This is like spiritually hard work. The amount of loss and the amount of like, I had to learn this the hard way and like being, having to be guided through like difficult, sticky places, the frustration that holds in here. This could be a lot of limiting belief that still moves forward anyway, because your heart tells you to, we get rewarded for that. So you end up stepping into your queen mode, your power woman, your absolute leader. And this is a natural place for you to grow through. I would like to take it, Evelyn, a look at Evelyn Sophia Parker, just to see how far you are away from this. Because this number, 639, I'll just quickly share with you guys another cool thing. When we look at the love chart, we see three, six, and nine. When we look at wealth, we see four, six, and eight. We look back to your chart, you literally have the divine geometry, sacred geometry of love inside of your name as you were born. So we know that this thing isn't messing around. This is another like immediately aware old soul that we get a chance to see. But I wanna see what happened. But the problem with this number is that it doesn't have the value of self love. It will give it to everyone else. And then by the end of the day, I'll get to me by the end of the day. Or I'll take care of me at the end, or like, I, you know, like uh, very modest and super humble, wants to take care of everyone else. And then you're exhausted at the end of the day. There is no more taking care of you. It's like, I got to go to sleep and then I got to wake up again and do the whole thing all over again. So whether that be with kids that might be a little bit older now, or maybe it's just a business or your job, these 22s are super loyal, but they also want to build things for themselves. So here's the drum roll. Okay. We're going to take this. We're going to put Parker on this. You're really hardworking. <laughs> Like you're very hardworking. Like this is like, well, uh, how do I put this? Um, yeah, like bookkeeping services. Okay. Like the like you're the hardest working woman in the whole company, and this is that feeling of like uh, of no emotion. It's ambition. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna burn the the candle at three ends. I'm like, what kind of candle is that? And this feeling of you just absolutely exhausting all your energy, and then still having more to use. This really big energy comes in there. I trust Evelyn uh, Sophia Parker. Like, you better trust her. When she says she knows what you're talking about, she knows exactly what she's talking about. You're going to get mad at your clients for not having their books kept properly. Like, oh, you're yeah. like, what am I supposed to do in a shoebox full of, like, receipts here? Like, does she know what a cal like a folder is? Like, this feeling yeah. of, like, you're, like, it's going to waste your time. And yet you're going to be like, oh, I love being organized, and I'm going to totally do it. And it's like, oh, give that box to me and like, I'll take care of you. She doesn't know what she's doing. I'll, I'll organize all of your stuff. And this can get lost in its work. I was talking to a chiropractor with this number and it's uh, Rob uh, Boulain. Okay. She's in your group and he has this number and I'm like, dude, you're working way too hard. And he's like, oh, finally somebody gets me. And I'm like, yeah, it's like, you're not going to let yourself go. You're not going to let yourself quit on the positive side you may not need to change your name legally. That's a good name. But it'll, it could also be like all work and no fun. Oh, man. And like, I'm going to do it anyway because I can do satisfaction. We look to a little bit of a shorter version. I'm like, wait a second. Look at this. We had divine love up front. Now we have like boss woman as a name. Then on the shorter side, we have another version of you that we would use naturally, Evelyn Parker. This will give you a nice break from all of that vibration to think, oh, you know what? Maybe I might just uh, be independent in my business and be and step into my leadership, but it would be a, a nice way for you to be intuitive and also kind of knowing of what needs to happen in order to have business happen. I would still be suggesting that if you were to take a letter, that you would take the G, P, or the Y. So Evelyn G. Parker, Evelyn P. Parker, or Evelyn Y. Parker, and move some more love into the conversation. Because right now, you're basically all business, all intuition, and the love version of you is being suffocated. And we know how much of a loving person you are. That suffocation is not, not fun because this is like, it, it's, a, it, it's, it's hard to say this. 
Um, but to know you is a blessing in, in life. If people know you and they know your love and they know the things you'll do for them and the things that you're going to, you know, you know, for them in their life, and then you're not seeing any of that and it gets tired and angry and resentful and then guilty that it feels resentful. It's like, oh man, this is a bad deal. And I would like to think that there's more to you than that. So Evelyn G. Parker would be my, my choice. If you're feeling like, I don't know, and I don't know why I don't know, it's because this name is probably pretty solid and you're okay to keep it. But I would like to say, hey, come on, is there a calendar that you can put like 9 to 10 or like 7 to 8 or like 9.30 to 11? That's just every day, just for Evelyn, just for you to be you, because that's really what's going to start magnetizing your success. There's a, a lot of leaky energy in this that's going to not even notice because it, cause it's going to like, well, is there a problem here? No, the name looks good. Is there a problem here? No, the name works really good. So it's like, oh, well, I don't know what the problem is. And that's the problem is that it's, it's going to work really hard. And yet we've got these really big loving numbers that are here for you as well. That says that, that you should, this is the love of a queen and the love of a really caring mother or a leader or someone who cares more about the impact than she does about the dollars. So it's a very interesting concept there. Uh, but yeah, any questions about your chart by any chance? Um, just that, okay, so I'm seeing like, if I'm understanding this right, there's a big contrast between the loving six and the 718, which is powerhouse work, workaholic, I guess, kind of thing. So there, so is, does that mean there's that I, there's a lack of balance? Uh, you, could, you could see it that way. You, I mean, I would like to carve the silver lining and say on one side, you're loving, on the other side, you're intuitive and power zone. Uh, on so one side, you're really stubborn and the other side, you're, but at the same point, you have to ask yourself, is that what I want? Is that what balances me? Or am I just teeter tottering between two places that I have to keep balance? I would like to find a name that says everything. That one that says, if there was the GP or Y, part of it would have love. Part of it would have more consider about, about business. Part of it does now show up for intuition. So it's like best of all worlds, instead of having my, my practical side in the office and my meditative side in the meditation room, like, you know, do what I did, put my meditation room in my office. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, that's, and this is literally what I did with my name. I literally did the same thing and it's working very well for me. Now, you know, it could even be that you need to start pulling out uh, your full name and just run that. If you're like, yeah, I, I do like being a hard ass woman. It feels good. It feels good to be, to have that level of control, but it could also be giving you a headache. It could also be like getting you nowhere fast and you're feeling exhausted being like for that. I did all of that for this little tiny little move. I would like to see the magnetism move forward in your, in your chart, which is more like numbers like these. Okay. But what do you think? Do you want to leave it as it is right now? Or would you like to pick a letter? Um, if I was going to pick a letter, I'd pick P. Okay, so let's go Evelyn P. Parker. Just, let's... I don't know why. I just like that. That's okay. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, it reminds me of like Peter Parker, like Spider-Man. Yeah. So, uh, okay, cool. We're so, like the Spider-Man family. We're yeah, like... yeah, that's awesome. Oh, man. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. No big deal. But, uh, okay, so we're going we're gonna to let this name run for now. This one is tough. You use this name. This is your ESP booking services. Funny how you would call it ESP. <laughs> and uh -huh. it's a booking service. And you're like, oh my God, that's so clever. Because obviously that's your, your name, but it also is like extrasensory perception. Like people are like, oh, it's like a psychic. She can see things. And it says more <laughs> about psychic power than it does about business. So funny how mm -hmm. it should see that is that it doesn't speak up for itself and more just kind of judges people quietly when you're looking at their books. <laughs> <laughs> accurate, accurate. Yeah. I would say so. And, it's, and, and, and hey, you know what? For as successful as your book serv bookkeeping services is, you've started an enagic business. So we can kind of tell that where you're, no, you haven't. So you haven't. Okay. So now you're, so I'm okay. just drinking the water. Amazing. So if you were to change this around and you wanted to keep this thing moving, you're like, I want to absolutely move this thing into the place it needs to go. I would probably put uh, AESP or ESPA booking services uh, okay. and, uh, and that letter A in there will move everything over and it become a really powerful monetizing 
inside of your services right here, okay? So just so we know that that exists, you could all even put uh, ESPJ or JESP, uh, and it would move again into this vibration of, of independent, I wanna work by myself, just be quiet, I'm gonna figure this out and I'm coming up with a solution. This one's more like, all right, sit down, let's do a consultation. Uh, what do we need to be? What do you need to get done? All of that good stuff in there. But uh, this would probably be the my pick. This okay, one also okay. doesn't work very badly either. It's a really wonderful name. But ESP Booking Services, Bookkeeping Services, doesn't have the vibration for wealth. So this okay. business is challenged. And that might be a bit of a frustration coming from Evelyn Parker or Evelyn Sophia Parker. Those numbers are like, what am I missing? I'm good. I know that I can do this. I'm missing something. And this number is like, it just doesn't say anything. It doesn't communicate for itself. And it, and it's probably just referral word of mouth. Or if it's, if it's being advertised, no one's seeing the ads. Okay. 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 This might be a bigger conversation to have, but if you were to pick a letter, would you want to pick one? Or do you think you want to leave it here for the time being? No, I would pick one. I just, um, I'd have to sit with it and, and analyze it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, being an analytic is a really good, I mean, it's better than, than just running into it and picking and choosing. This is your business. This yeah. one brings more love and more connection, more communication. Okay. This okay. one gets people off your back and you produce results. So it's very similar, the one and the seven, but in this case, it actually produces some massive results. So in case you want a subtle shift, you can even put ESPs, Booking services, bookkeeping services, and like, oh. and, and that that's like such a subtle, subtle shift. Like, yeah. you don't really have even have to think about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd say take this for now, and then if you want to move uh, a vibration over afterwards, you can always, uh, you know, consider that. And and it's nice to analyze with a bookmark. So put a bookmark in this name and say ESP booking services. Bookkeeping services, that, that's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll run with this for now until I decide if I wanted to take the J or the S or not. But okay. this E, P, or Y no longer exists with this name. It's just A, J, or S is how I would show up with that, okay? Okay. Cool, okay, any questions at all about this? Um, well, I don't know if it's related, but I have a question about my uh, domain. Sure, what's the domain so mean? ESPbookkeeping.ca. ESP bookkeeping uh bookkeeping dot ca. So they told me to pick um the prefix part and right now it's Evelyn at ESPbookkeeping.ca, but that hasn't gone live yet, so I can change it. So I'm wondering, should I? Is this even worth thinking about? What do you think? Okay. I would go Evelyn Sophia at ESP booking, keep bookkeeping, uh, .ca. Okay. Done. Do that. Okay. Love and, and then, wow. Like, wow. That, that literally takes you right up to the very top of the conversation. And at this point, your clients have big portfolios and they're like multi-million dollar businesses that you're going to be wanting to deal with inside of a conversation like that. And this is how we're looking at it, right? We're, we're looking Evelyn, Sophia, at uh, ESPBookkeeping.ca. Yeah. Okay? Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Like massive levels of love on that. That puts you right up here. And we're like, oh my gosh. Like that's huge. That's a heart. But that's huge. It's a really big thing. So it may be just what you've been asking, praying, and looking for and also seeing in your mind's eye, because you're a smart cookie. Like if anyone that needs bookkeeping, you should probably go and see this woman. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, and it's funny because my Sally used to do bookkeeping, but she just does taxes now. She doesn't actually do the bookkeeping part, but uh, I would love to be able to promote those because I numerologically speaking, I'd be like, I trust you. I trust <laughs> you with my wealth. You should, do, you should talk to my books. And like, and yes, it'd be worth it to talk, to have someone like this. She can see between the lines and she can read between the books and she can sort of see, like see something like you just put all the books there and you're like something's going on in there and I don't know what <laughs> I'm gonna find it and then ah there it is T told you and then yeah, you'll be able to yeah. see it really really well and I imagine how many times it happens but Evelyn P Parker please ESP's booking bookkeeping services absolutely uh, Evelyn Sophia at bookkeeping bookkeeping.ca 
That's the way. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Absolute pleasure to connect with you. Carla Elizabeth Joy Wilson, the life of the party. What's up? Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to mute you, Evelyn, and let's unmute you, Carla. How are you doing? How are you liking this so far? I, it's awesome. It's a lot, a lot to absorb, but it's really cool hearing our base and kind and of feeling our base energy. And I appreciate great. also you guys holding the space for everyone. This is like a digital campfire, and everyone gets a chance to go through their stuff. And because we're going through it with the group, it makes me feel a lot easier that we've got energy like yours helping us out and absolutely working with this as well. So when we're talking about the life of the party, we're not kidding here. This <laughs> is like forever young. You're going to have a smile through everything. You're going to absolutely have it. It shows up in the name. So you're not going to look your age at all, ever. You're just always going to look, feel, act, and experience younger. It's nice. And it's feeling of that. And it's funny how you, uh, you went in for legs like Green Lotus and healing and that stuff. Because it's like, this is like a forever young vibe. And also on the negative side, it can feel like you're not taking yourself as seriously as you always could or should. Or other people aren't taking you as seriously as you'd like them to. And that can be a really big, like, hey, come on, like, let's do this. And this is the challenge that we're experiencing inside of our chart. Still, fun person to hang around with. Absolutely got the eyes as wide as wonder. And then we have a fighter. We've got a leader, and then we have a leader who won. So this is a story of a really strong name. Like, we like this name, Dragon Moon Ventures. I'm like, hey, solid name. Even, uh, like, as where uh, Estelle was born, same thing. But we have this five, one, and the six. A really like how does the month, the day, and the year possibly know to look like a name? It doesn't usually happen that way. So the fact that it does, we're paying attention. We have this princess on one side, but hey, don't call me princess. I'm gonna slap you here. That five is like, look, I've got power. Okay, and we're like the kitty just turned into a tiger. Everybody run, she's gonna go crazy. And you really don't do that to others, usually, hopefully. <laughs> no, I, I, I so don't, but it's pretty much everybody's like, I don't want to see it pissed off. It doesn't yeah. happen often, but when it does, it's, yeah, not fun. It's not fun. And yeah, it, it takes turns, a long time. <laughs> it, it, it turns into the Hulk, and then you've gotten pretty good at covering it down. But the problem is, is that you do, you do that to yourself. Are you still Carla Elizabeth Joy Wilson legally? Yeah. Okay. See, this is another thing that's happening inside of here that was the same thing that was going on with Robin, the same thing was happening with me. So these threes and these sevens, the seven says nothing, and the three says, I'm cool, I'm fine, I'm cool, this is fine. It's like the picture of the dog who's like in his kitchen with the house is burning and he's chipping his tea and there's fire everywhere. Like, this is fine, I'm fine. And this is what's happening inside of this name is one part's not saying anything, it's connected, it's spiritually connected. And this will help you with spiritual travel. But then this makes you a really big squeeze, like a really nice friend, a really good person to be around, very loving. You'll push yourself to the side for anyone. And that can be a bit of a challenge when we're talking about helping you through life. So this, all of you, if, if any of you still hold, except for uh, Evelyn, if any of you still hold and these as a legal name, you may consider at one point changing it legally. Uh, but again, not today, okay? So when we're looking at this, this is like, I want to say something, but then I say it too late. Or I'll just, I don't want to be disliked. I'm just going to kind of keep it down a little bit. Whereas on the chart side, it's like, don't do that. We're a leader. I'm independent. I need my freedom. I'm here to help people. And then, and then people just don't take you seriously or you don't take yourself seriously. We look at Carla Wilson. This is exactly what I was dealing with without the F in my name. It was just 819. You're like really good at what you do, but you do it for other people. Carla Wilson will do... Everything she does is for others. And you're smart, you're intelligent, you're solutions driven, you got a loving, powerful level of leadership. But then there's this blindfold, what's that for? Yeah, put that on. You're like, okay, what's happening here? Okay, now live your life. I can't see myself. No, you can't. You can't see how powerful you are. You don't see how much, you're, how strong your leadership really helps and inspires people, despite what they try to tell you, and despite how loyal they are to you, and how much they love you, you're still just like, I don't get it. I don't see it. I just don't understand where people are coming from because all of your powers are being used against you and then it's being sucked out of you and you're your boss's best friend. This is that feeling of like, look, she's going to get it done, but it's not going to be getting it done for yourself. What I would like to do is to stop that. Stop it. 
and to put something in there and absolutely move our vibration over. So let's take a look at a couple of things that we could use. I did notice that you've got a couple names in there. So let's just try Carla Wilson and then let's try putting like EJ in there. Okay, so there's- That's, I actually, when I was growing up in kindergarten, I went by just EJ for years. Like Naomi's my niece. What? And Naomi's my niece. How does that work? My sister's 18 years older than me. So, hey, Auntie Carla over here. You're yeah. like two years apart. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. So I, I actually grew up as EJ Wilson. Like Kevin Charlie knows me as EJ, right? Like anybody from way back knows me as EJ. Can I be fair? Uh, EJ Wilson is a really good name. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Not what I want to hear. I hated it as a kid. Well, I got you through some tough times, I'll tell you that. You, it did. It did. There is a reason why you are as powerful as you are now. This is a good looking name, but it may not be the one you want to choose as an initial inside of Carla Wilson. But it's nice to know that Carla EJ Wilson balances you out. The problem is you just swore at me. And <laughs> you're like, having fun and let's enjoy and I want to go out there and have fun three in the five, three in the five. If I put four and two and six, it's like, oh man, I'm going to be boring now. And I'm going to just like, you know, and Carla, EJ Wilson, I'll get there. It's like, no, oh, that's not me. I know it's not you. And that's why it's like, let's, let's, let's put you back up. So let's just take this out and let's let, at least let you know, great. EJ Wilson did work, but you have option here to take a bigger number the same as i same number you could take like carla x wilson like bam or carla like, that. <laughs> like see that looks cool right mm -hmm. and, and this that like balances you back out to a higher level of power within you this one says i've got my business i'm super re um, religious spiritual I, like I, I can connect in you'll find me yeah. really is and then the yeah. sixth well one, i do i do reiki as well See, this is this will help your Reiki business. This will really help. I'm a level two with my Reiki. I just use it on yeah, my me, kids and my wife. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't, me too. Me too. I do level two. I've done it on my roommate lots, and then another girlfriend. I would. I would much rather trust this than trust this with uh, with like the the old way. Mm -hmm. uh, like even if you were to start your your uh, Reiki and the evocation of a handshake, Carla X Wilson, uh, I'll be doing your Reiki for you today. So tell me what's going on. <laughs> and then that feeling is like, like the real chat comes through. It says mm -hmm. wizard, um, intuitive and love. So you'll be wizarding up your finger, uh, you know, and then going into the God space. Okay. And don't worry, I'm doing this with love. And then you come back out through a really powerful healing experience. So Bobby, um, actually in my first level one, my spirit guide, his name is Wizard. Wizard, cool. <laughs> so that would be, that'd be very, uh, yeah. Be a nice way to connect back to that vibration. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it works for me. I absolutely love what I do. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it, it, I'm doing like name Reiki right now. <laughs> so it's a really powerful feel of what we get a chance to do here. But man, if I was Naomi right now, I'd be like, this is amazing. My team is getting lifted up. They're all spirit dancing. <laughs> This feeling is really good in there. Now, healing green lotus. We got, we got an issue. There's some, there's some challenge here. Well, I haven't, I haven't used it at all. It's something because I am looking at naming because I have my own cleaning company, Carless Cleaning, and then I am also doing Reiki and starting my Kanganagic business. Right. Okay. So for me, I'm, I'm really liking the lotus. The green being the heart chakra. Right. Gifts from my heart. Um, yeah, I've been doing a Zen tarot lately and it's been a lot of flowering go goddess. Um, if you were to do something like green Lotus gifts instead of green healing, green Lotus, like let's do this one. Like just to, just to sort of put this into perspective. Yeah. Green Lotus gifts. It now speaks of a, of a spiritual power. And this was that same intuition that we were talking about earlier, which is like you're independent, you use a one woman show, you're connecting with the divine, and you're putting the wizard back over top of this. 
And I okay. really need that. It would, I, I would suggest something like that. And right when you said the word gifts, I was like, I should try that. I should just try that and see what that says. And it made me feel good about it. So I'm not sure if that tickles you. you it, it, to- I, I really do do like that. I like, I like green lotus gifts. That's Cause that, that at that point you could be doing a lot of things with that, whether it be a magic Reiki, you know, uh, I, but, uh, Carla's cleaning, it's, it's not helping you. And, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm booked solid, but it's, yeah, it's not, uh, yeah. The best thing I could suggest with that is to have, make sure you hire some people who, who are really as tough. Hiring people is so tough. You can, you really can't. I've, I've even tried asking some of my clients and they are like, no, it is me. And it's my, they trust me. They love me. They're like family to me. Like it's. Then it's sell like, the yeah, machines. No. That's what you, do. you sell the machines and you're like, this is the last time I'm cleaning your house, honey. You gotta <laughs> buy a machine and otherwise I go, I'm gone. And uh, yeah, because you, one day you're not going to need to do it anymore. But this thing works and makes me feel really good about you, especially knowing that you're doing things on the spiritual plane. Uh, mm-hmm. and you're also wanting to become a business owner or you are a business owner. So this feeling is inside of the Green Lotus Gifts. We're cool with it. You're going to brand like this? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm willing to even like change my cleaning business. I would. I yeah. would. I would. Just put them uh, all under one umbrella. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, yeah. And you do this with an LTD at the end? And, uh, or a holdings company like that, that'd be absolutely powerful. And, uh, it's just like an all around like thing that you could use for, for everything that you talk about. Cause mm-hmm. it, it, it holds space as an entrepreneur, business owner, holds space on the spiritual side, also at leadership. So it's a good feeling. Uh, this, yeah, this is a reason why it was like, it still works even at ESP's bookkeeping services. Right. So. Okay. Just to see that we have that there. Any questions at all? Um, it is a kid question. I have a very, very strong-willed son. Okay. What's so strong about him? What's, I mean, I, I guess a better question would be, what's his name or what's his birthday? Let's do his birthday. April 18th, 2014. Ouch. Okay, so hold on a second here. Uh, ouch. So super stubborn, but then a really big heart. And he yeah. Like, you know, he, so it's like on or off with this guy. And he, he, he his sake his sense of approval is, is inside of you. So it's tough because you're saying that he's going through some things. Uh, what's the question really? Um, he's just being like defiant. He's being like a little asshole. He's five. Yeah. Right? That's what like, happens, dude, dude, dude could, you know, like normally he's super helpful and then he'll just turn around and be like, no, just straight up. No, screw you. Or just like, doesn't hear me at all. April. But, yeah. It's either it's the April or the 18th. April is like stubborn, and then 18th is like I don't even know that I'm here. I'm like completely invisible to me, even me. So there's a challenge in that. That's so why I'm like, oh. And then you said 2014. Yeah. Let's just quickly do that. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Misunderstood little chap. Okay, you know. <laughs> but uh, at, at five, it's it's tough, and we're I'm in this stage as well. I got a six, a four, a two year old six month old. So I got young kids in my house. It's about not fucking them up. And I'm, yeah. it's, a, it's a sad thing to think about because, uh, you know, um, Estelle is no longer here for that conversation. It's about not messing up our kids so that they need therapy or they need numerology when they're older. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And that's what I'm trying. But at the same time, I'm like trying to, re- you know, respectful. Yeah. And everybody's always like, he makes friends really easy. He's got a super big heart and it's normally just with me. Yeah. And- like any other mom, right? And like, the, the problem here is that you don't, you're not showing force. So he's the stubborn one and you're going to get irritated and annoyed and, be, and then end up pushing over or end up becoming really angry and then just punishing him. And, he's, and then it's like pulling rank and then he's just going to feel even more closed off. And so as the, I, I hate to say this to parents, but I love to, to do this to my kids. Uh, I trick them and I just, I basically reverse psychology everything. And that's like the best thing you can do is get them involved and make it look like it's their idea and, and empower them and, you know, make that like, and, and, and then at the end, it's just like, Oh, like, you know, I just like roll my eyes. Like I'm like, daddy's just going to go lie down for a minute, huge blow up. And then I'm like playing into it being like, are you okay? And like, you know, and I don't want to raise them wrong, but at the same time, I don't want to crush their little spirit because then I'll, that'll be an even bigger problem. I'd rather deal with a bigger problem that like in this say that I love them too much as opposed to having to squash them to a stage where I wasn't, you know, helping them out, that kind of thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, you're in a tough one. What I'll do uh, for you guys, I wanted to give you guys a special, cool, extra little gift. So um, one for Robin one, and, and one for, uh, for Estelle as well. So Naomi, you can help me with this. But um, I'm, I give you guys reports. I give you guys written reports that okay. are instruction manuals. I'm going to throw an extra one in for the kids, okay? Oh, thank you very much. Do you need my kid's name? Yeah, the whole thing. So in the group chat, everybody goes and puts, uh, you know, the full name and the birthday, and then I'll make sure that I send those off with you with an extra bit of love and care package so that you can know what the heck's going on with this little kid, you know, and absolutely, absolutely read into them. As a parent, it's the most valuable information ever. So, awesome. Thank you so, so very much. You're so, very, very welcome. Did I, uh, I think we're okay for time, right? I just want to make sure <coughs> that we're okay for time. <coughs> where did we start and where are we now? You're uh, at Sammy. Okay, we got another, we have another half an hour here before, I, before I'm starting to feel like I'm too late. So, <coughs> so far, we've come across some pretty deep stuff, guys. There's parenting issues, there's businesses that are being taken uh, care of and, and growing inside of businesses as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce Naomi to you guys, even though she's already had her chart done. But to let you guys know, the facilitator, coordinator of this whole thing, uh, we will spend some time doing that as well. But what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, Tammy's first. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to unmute Tammy. Tammy, sound check. Are you there with us? Hello. Hey, how's it going? Great. Is it Tammy? Is that how I say it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you once were Tammy Renee Welsh, Welsh, but now you're Tammy Renee Sanderson? Yes. And are you still married? Yes. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The other life path three, so the other life of the party. But the challenge here is that there's no fight in this. There's a lot more of that, it's okay, super sweetheart vibration and like gonna get pushed over a little bit easier. In, ter in terms of that side of your number. Inside of Tammy Sanderson is the one that's like, Bobby, what are you talking about? I'm super stubborn. Ain't no way nobody can push me down. And there's gonna be a tale of two women that are gonna come to conflict this. I would like to think that you would like to play more into your, your fun and your playful side and the more and like energetic side of you instead of the, oh my God, you work way too hard. Like this number works to the freaking bone. And I would imagine that's probably where it hurts, is literally inside of your body. This thing does not, no emotion, no sign for weakness. I will work until I'm done. And the feeling is even if you're done, you're not done. And that's a really big solid challenge in there. And I can see the silent tear rolling down being like, I just wanna have fun. Why do I work so hard all the time? This isn't fun, but it's so satisfying. Oh yeah, but it's not fun, it's so hard. I just wanna enjoy myself. And we're like, okay, can we pick a lane? Can we pick a lane here? Because this is really starting to get on your nerves. And I know that you're on one side, it's like this limiting belief. There's another side that says, look, I can do this. And there's another part that says, oh, I'm just super tired. I just want to relax a little bit and kind of not get so overloaded. So, I mean, easily put, we can, I, I want to just try Tammy Renee Sanderson. I want to see what's happened since marriage. So let's go uh tammy sanderson and then let's add renee in there see this is what i would be using this is you could because you could take the letter b you could take the letter k you could take the letter t and it will move you into 966 queen mode and you're like oh i like the sound of queen mode makes me feel like my all my days as a princess were gonna finally pay off but this is like you're a princess, you're a princess, all your life, you're a princess, and then suddenly someone kidnaps you and says, work and clean the floors and, you know, and wipe the floor, Cinderella, and you're like, ah, something bad happened. I'm not supposed to be here. I Trust me, I'm royalty. And it's like, no, you're not. You're supposed to be making sure everybody's, like, running in order. But then you get this number inside of your chart that's naturally yours, Tammy Renee Sanderson, and it literally puts you up there to the magnetic vibration as you were already. So for you to show up this way, it's like the most perfect, I, I, like God parts the clouds, and you get a number there that says master woman. If you could just use this everywhere, I would, if, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I'll use my full legal name though, 
fine. Take T, Tammy T. T Sanderson, or Tammy K. Sanderson, or B. Sanderson, or just run the runway like you are, because that is a perfect name. You're legally Tammy Renee Sanderson right now? Yeah. I would be changing your Zoom, your your business. Are you inside of the business or, or not? Yeah. Yes. I would be talking to leads with this name, branding around this name. I gave, my wife gave birth to my, my son with this name. So like numerologically speaking, like I'm putting my money where my mouth is on a number like this. Absolutely divine in its global power. This is the missing piece of your frustration. Because I know that inside of you, this 944 is like, am I, what the hell am I missing? Something is going on and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Why, what is like everybody, I got to figure this out. Forensics team, analyze everything, check under everything. And it's like, I'm missing something, something's wrong. And now it, we look at this and we're like, oh, no wonder. It's because you're destined for big things and you're not showing that to everybody. Nobody's seeing the full truth of the full story. And then we have this three here, which just pretends like everything's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. And you're just this really big sweetheart. You'll do anything for your friends. But underneath that really uh, simple, pleasurable, social level of uh, surface level conversation is a very deep, intuitive empath. Like you're, you're smart in, the, in the, the heart's mind. I don't know. The spiritual intelligence is there. Like you know things and you don't really tell people that you know things. It's easier just to play dumb and be like, oh, that's so nice. And like you, and you like know that they're not, they don't know what they're talking about. And you're like, hmm, that's fun. And like, you're just kind of like trying to get through it because you don't want to just be like, actually you're wrong. The three just doesn't want to ruffle the feathers. This one doesn't need to. You get a chance to absolutely bloom and there is no ruffling your feathers anymore. It's just you growing into your queen mode and you have to thank your husband for this one. To think <laughs> because of this, he got you out of a really sticky situation. Uh, <laughs> Tammy Renee Welsh was just give and give and give and keep on giving. And then it got cut down, but just Tammy Sanderson. Never use that again. <laughs> Never okay. go with those names. That, that thing is like the kiss of death. It just works too hard. And, it, it, and the problem is, is that it'll work and it'll work hard. And your boss loves you. You're absolutely there. But it's not quite moving you into the direction you want to grow into in terms of making this really powerful level of business. So yeah. any questions about your chart or any sort of peripheral questions that we want to take a look at? Um, not that's coming to mind right now. Right. I, I just want to say, I mean, you, you really nailed it for the working too hard because that's exactly how I was raised is, you know, you got to work hard and, you know, you got to show up and you got to represent and, and I, honest to God, I married my husband because he is the fun guy. And he's the one that would remind me that life is not all about working hard. You got to enjoy it too. And when I get too serious, he balances me out because he, he's the one that forces me to just laugh and have fun. Mm. Forces you to laugh. Just tap well, I mean, he, he brings it out in me. Let's say that. Let's, let's put it this way. He does, he does make you a better person, just numerologically speaking. It's super romantic. I think by knowing this, your relationship factor just took a really huge jump. Um, and the reason why you pulled the fun guy is because you, there's a part of you that's reflecting that. And there's a super sweet, very loving, humorous, like chuckly kind of gal. And it sucks to have a name that's just like too stubborn and hardworking. And it's like, <laughs> how am I going to be the hard cop all the time? And you get to be the fun cop all the time. Right. Like, you no. Know? And then he's like, you can be the fun cop this time. And you're like, I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> and so this, this one will let you move back into that vibration. But uh, just all things considered, this is a wonderful looking name. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, very, very powerful. Do you don't need to change your name legally? I would take this even further and brand this way. Okay. Cool. That makes it easy. I love it. Yeah, it makes it easy for me as well. And it's nice to see that you guys have that, that feeling inside of your vibe that you get. These are, these are big souls. Okay, you guys are absolutely dealing with some big stuff here. All right, so guys, let, let me, ladies, let me introduce you to Naomi. Uh, now, Naomi's gone through some tough stuff in life. Okay, she's gone through her own fair share uh, one of the biggest things that we see in her life chart is a 911. So she's like your emergency healer. Uh, like, send me an angel. Like, this is like literally her. She's going to run in and absolutely be there to run into the fire for anyone. And this is showing up quite dramatically right now. Nine over 11. Uh, go easy on her. She's going to own your problems much more than she needs to. And that's part of her charm. 
is that she's just, I'm, I met this woman, you, the, the energy is there. And it's a wonderful feeling to know that we've got you in our lives. But uh, the pro same problem we have with superheroes is the ultimate sacrifice is the one that they make themselves. And to know that it's them that absolutely is the one that they need to take care of. We've already had this conversation. So we know that, you know, uh, what we went and talked about, but around your, uh, like, we're in this right now, like, th like this area in your 30s is when these numbers start to actually start to pay off, where now you've got a team full of people working alongside of you. You've been able to create a factor. In, and I remember when we met, and then you're like, we were talking after, you're like, oh, hey, Bobby, can I just do my own group meeting? I'm like, look at you go. Look at you go. You got your own group already. It's only been months. It's only been months. It was, uh, it was like, I, I came here in March. It was like within the last four months that we had a chat. And, I'm, and I look back, I'm like, holy crap, it's been like a long time. It really has passed in a very short amount of time. You've really risen to your level of leadership. And it's interesting because I don't see the letter that you were supposed to think. We haven't picked a letter. We no, to? Bobby, I did put A in my business name. Okay, so that's where you are showing up inside of there. So let's make sure that that's there. But are you okay to not put the, a letter inside of your personal page? Is that part yeah. of the charm? Okay. I don't I don't have one, but then I branded myself because of my scales and was a balanced life or like um my website that I actually have created for myself is called NaomiPenny.com Discover a Balanced Life. Okay. And I actually have like a website made. And then I wanted to like rebrand myself with my girls as a um, like a balanced tribe or balanced lifestyles or something that resonates with my girls that have helped me get here. So that's, I remember this part in our conversation. So um, that's what we're going to do, right? We're going to do that right now. Sure. So, okay, guys, let's put him in the chat. Let's unmute everybody. Let's, let's do a big dog puddle, uh, you know, a big dog fight here. What are we going to use? The, let's talk about the very first one you had was a balanced tribe. Yeah. Okay, let's just try it here. Uh, and it needs something. How about just balanced tribe? A balanced tribe doesn't work. Um, how about a balanced team? But you like the word tribe, right? Tribe is kind of part of the thing. Kind of. Okay, let's, let's make sure tribe is in there. So balanced tribe. Okay, so let's just put this in there and make sure we see that one shows up. Uh, let's see if I can pull it out. So three, oh, I, I don't even use that. It's it's because it's a number that doesn't quite show up very often. So three, three, six, balanced tribe. Okay, but talk to me about this tribe. Like what's going on? Why is it so balanced? Like what's the deal there? Well, because I have a little bit of everybody fucked up all together. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good way to put it. Okay. I, all of these girls have come into my life at different parts of my life. And they've resurfaced into my life again at different parts of my life. Like, like Carla is my auntie, but I hated her. <laughs> we didn't get along. We didn't get along for We didn't get along for a long time. Tammy, I met um, since I was a baby. She was my mom's best friend's daughter. Um, Evelyn, I met like four or five years ago when I was striving to be a better person for myself. She was my gym partner. And then last year we reconnected and started going to the gym together again. Right. Robin, she was my stepmother, my daughter's stepmother. So, you know, for 19 years I've been her support system, you know, and then Estelle, well, I've been friends with her forever and she's just crazy, <laughs> but I love her. So uh, let's try something here. Balanced women tribe, but then you kind of lock yourself into the gender. Um, yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. I like balanced lifestyles too. Okay, that one's taken. Okay, well, this one also works. Uh, where are we here? So we've got uh, balanced successful tribe. Um, how about see if I can find something else? I want to find something really cool and it has to work. It has to fit. It has to click. How about, um, 
No. Okay. How about like this? Anyone else got any ideas? Anyone else have anything in there? Draw power tribe. No. How about? How about winning balance tribe? Winning balanced. Another good name. Winning balanced tribe. Uh, okay. How about um, wealth balance? No. How about wealth tribe? Yeah, that one would work. Wealth tribe. How about? Uh, so maybe something more spiritual, right? This one, now this one's super spiritual here as you say that. Balanced health tribe. So oh, oh, that one's good. That one's like a really big one. That's like a really big one. And then now we're looking at numbers in the mastery. So this isn't, this isn't, uh, th and, and one of the jackpots here, and the, you kind of heard it, everyone was like, like the zap just went through everyone at the same time. Um, it says balance. It also says power woman. And it also has this feeling of balanced health. So not only does it look good on this side, but the numbers actually mean the same thing. Like I could use this to describe this, like saying, well, the tribe expands for family, balance, six is balance, health is like, I love myself and we take care of others. And uh, yeah, I think you found your name. Well, I like it, Bobby. I, I think it's great. I, I really like it because we all are, we all pull something different into our tribe. Yeah. It's well, balance, balance us all out and then that's what i'm saying we all got our own little fucked up and we all kind of balance each other out because yeah. we all have our own shit right that's so cool that is so cool and and most of you guys are on are, are most of you on the island or just a few of you tammy's the tammy and robin are the only ones that aren't around oh too bad i was about to invite you guys over to my house for some uh for some shenanigans but you know what bobby i was totally gonna show up on friday but my daughter was away racing all weekend Oh no! That's I know, but I seen it was good. Yeah, it was fun. We had a lot of fun. It was just—it was a real spiritual meet. Like there was a lot of like talk about big stuff. It wasn't even business. You definitely missed out. Uh, I don't want to hear that. I didn't even hear about it. Are, Are you not, not in the group? Are you not in the? I don't. I don't, I don't think she's in that group yet. I'll have to add her. So we'll make sure we get you out in there. There's like a group for jazz people that are inside of, uh, or Nash people that are inside of uh, a group chat on the island. And we yeah. all still hang out once a month. Oh, but, that's awesome. Yeah, we're yeah, definitely. Because when Naomi went for her numerology with you, she dropped her daughter off with me, and she came in after she had numerology. I'm like, so? She's like, I just, yeah, fuck, whatever. I'm, yeah, fuck. <laughs> right? I'm like, okay, we'll it's, talk later, fuck. It's a crazy experience. And sometimes it can overwhelm you. So in case any of you guys are feeling the overwhelm you, of yourselves or even from taking on others of energy that were here, Go easy on yourself this evening. You know, go and just be nice and gentle. It's not a big deal. You just kind of calm yourself down. And just to know that you guys did real work, especially for the Reiki artists in here. The feeling is like, look, we're processing things that are happening inside of our charts. But to know that you guys are running with absolute balance now and mastery makes me feel like this is a team of champions. It's absolutely like amazing to see that. I feel like so energized and like doom, 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 is how I'm feeling. I'm not feeling over overwhelmed. I'm like, I could go run a marathon right now. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, what I will suggest is that the questions are going to come. I'm going to provide an audio recording. I'm going to put a, a video recording up as well. So you guys can, uh, you know, like listen to it again. You can listen to your part. You'll hear something different the next time. If any of you guys need to have a more serious conversation and you're like I just I want to go in I need to go in and take a look at some of these deeper stuff I would love to do that with you uh, if you can't afford it just just do it quickly first you can pay me later another time let's make your money first I'm willing to bet on your success because this is what I believe in inside of my 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 life and inside of my chart but it's been an absolute honor and a blessing to connect with you guys today um, it looks like we did come out with a couple of extra minutes so we, we can end it here if there are no other questions, but if there are anything burning and you guys are like, look, I'd love to know. I'd love to answer them for you while you still have me. Otherwise, um, yeah, let me know if we can or if, there, if, uh, if there's anything else, Naomi. I'm good. Are my girls good? I am good. 
I have I have a quick question. Um, so should I just go on Facebook and just add in the Carla X on my Facebook everything? And what we're gonna do, you don't even have a business page, so we should set her X up as her business page. Carla X Wilson. Or I'm gonna do it right now to your Zoom. Okay, there you go, Carla X Wilson on your Zoom handle. Okay. But, uh, you you should do it everywhere. Yeah, uh, everywhere. Like anywhere you can, go to your Gmail, get a Gmail. You know, maybe I'm not sure what the domain. Yeah, but set up your business page, um, even your personal page if you can stomach it, and you can actually like show up to your real people with that name. I would. Oh yeah, I I don't have a problem with it at yeah. all. It'll look um, cool. People are gonna be like, "What's that for?" It's like I'm edgy. Just don't <laughs> worry about it. I'm an X man. Yeah, <laughs> my son will love it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Okay, so just change it on everything, and then the the green lotus gifts obviously i'll have to business search that right for business because if it doesn't if it someone else has it you're like dang it yeah was, then it, what was it green lotus gifts i see green lotus i see green lotus jewelry green lotus wall decor green lotus mug uh emerald green lotus gifts on zazzle you're clean you're clear Sweet. You're clear. Okay. Google so, doesn't know you yet. Okay, so <laughs> would, <clears throat> would I use that as my business page then? I would recommend that you use your name as a business page. Uh, just just between us, if you're going to be building an Enagic business and you guys are going to go through the whole affiliate marketing or the mm -hmm. whole feeling about like uh, attraction style marketing, it makes a lot more sense for someone to read your name than to okay. read your business. Still make a business page under Green Lotus Gifts and absolutely make sure that you have an actual service where people can book you and they can yeah. talk about their cleaning needs or they can talk about their health needs or their business needs. This, you're basically a solution for them. And, okay. uh, you know, like, and you can post about, it just might get confusing. You'd have to pick, you might have to pick a lane unless you go Green Lotus Gifts LTD and you tell the government that that's your holding company, that's your legal designation and you're basically running with that as a way to, to conglomerate all of the different businesses that you have. Yeah, because that's where I was kind of confused already because I'm like, okay, I have Carlos cleaning and have all that going on. I should probably talk to Evelyn about all this. <laughs> right? I have the Carlos cleaning and then the Enagic and then the Reiki is just kind of like a on the side thing right now, right? So. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Awesome. That was my only question. And then, yeah, I definitely... We'll, we'll book a session and figure that out and talk about my kid and stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, well, I'll give you guys the reports for the little ones for sure. Uh, how about Tammy, Evelyn? You guys are good? All good. Thank you, Naomi. I appreciate you so much for letting me do this with your team. Thank, Thank you, you so much for setting me up. You are growing. Okay. You're growing very, very quickly. I hope you recognize that. I'm not growing quick enough, Bobby. You're growing a lot faster than you give yourself credit for. 2019 is a tough year. And it's the, the under the ground growing that the seed does before it pokes out of the ground. So just keep that in mind. Next year is where the roots land. And you're looking at your team of six A's. So, you know, it's going to be a very profitable thing. But nobody give up. Nobody give up their dream. Don't do it. I'm here with you guys. All right, Thank everybody. You. Have a great Thank night. Much love. Much respect. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take Thank care. you, Bobby.